Oh yeah, what's up all, all my Jaguars out there? You know who I am. Ralph Jaguar is back with another epic one. And welcome to another epic episode of Ralph's Universe The Reboot. Let's do it. What's up Jaguars? In this episode of Ralph's Universe The Reboot Yep, you guessed it. Once again, I'm going to be talking about what is going on with World Wrestling Entertainment. That's WWE for short. But you all already know that, right? Right. Last Monday night on Raw it was Monday Night Raw, the 25th of February to be exact. OMG, there was a whole lot happening. And this program aired in the Airline Center in Dallas. A whole lot of epic matches. And I do mean a whole lot, people. You see, Jaguars, the types of matches that they had last Monday night would usually be, you know, pay-per-view, you know, category. But in, but instead of waiting, you know, a whole bunch of weeks for the pay-per-view events to be, you know, settling their differences and issues and all that BS, they decided to go ahead and do it on Monday Night Raw. And boy, was it epic. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, okay? Okay. Raw opened up with Vince McMahon versus Paul Heyman in a fight. That's right. Not a wrestling match, but a fight. Because remember, I'll, I'll remember some time ago when Brock Lesnar had jumped uh, Vince McMahon and injured him? You know, making him have hip hip replacement and all that. Well, Vince McMahon wanted retribution, of course. You understand that, right? So on the previous Monday Night Raw, you know, Vince McMahon signed the match. He wanted to fight Paul Heyman. And that is exactly what happened last Monday night on Raw. You know, Vince McMahon, as you can see right here, obviously not a hundred percent after having you know hip replacement surgery Paul Heyman was willing to take to try and take advantage of that but by using his guts and glory you know Vince McMahon was able to get the upper hand because we all know that Vince McMahon has you know balls the size of grapefruits <laughs> And as you can see here, because of those balls, you know, Vince McMahon is giving Paul Heyman exactly, exactly what Paul Heyman deserves. The righteous beatdown. But before, but before Vince could finish off that weasel Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar decided to jump in. And things were looking real bad for Mr. McMahon, but then hope arrived. Hope arrived in the form of Triple H. That's right. Triple H is back. Because we all know that Triple H is the COO of the WWE. Well, this time he is not in his suit and tie. The game is here. In his, in his street clothes, street fighting clothes. He went ahead, he got into it with, with Brock Lesnar, and man, did, did these two go into a brawl. They fought in the ring and outside of the ring.
and it was Triple H who left Brock Lesnar Lane. But I, but I very much doubt that this feud right here is far from over. In fact, it's starting up anew. In another matchup of last Monday's Raw on the 25th, we had the machine, Ryback, going up against Mr. Money in the Bank for SmackDown's World Heavyweight Championship, Dolph Ziggler. And you can see in the background there, Kurt E. Langstrom is in the corner of Dolph Ziggler. And of course, AJ Lee is there too. This was a very good matchup right here. And of course, you know, Lang uh, uh, just like he always does, you know, Kurt E. Langstrom gets involved in the match, but this time he got knocked down by Ryback, and rightfully so. And check this out. That's right, Ryback is nailing the show off Mr. Money in the Bank, Dolph Ziggler. Yep, you guessed it. Ryback wins. Ryback wins. Oh yeah. Okay, well, the... I don't think there was anything much to this match right here. I mean, it was huge, it was big, but not much to it. Mark Henry versus the Great Kali. Because about a week ago, you know, about actually it was weeks ago, Mark Henry had jumped on the Great Kali and beat him down, jumping him from behind, I might add. So that is why. Last Monday night, these two giants decided to get it on. It was a very good matchup. But, in the end, Mark Henry won again. And I guess in, in his own words, you know, that's what Mark Henry does. Maybe next time his luck will run out. Pretty obvious what we have here is a segment of Miz TV starring the Miz and his guesses. Rodriguez, assistant of World Heavyweight Champion Alberto Del Rio, Seb Coulter, advisor of the number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship, Jack Swagger, the All American American. And we all know what the situation is here. You know, Zeb Coulter, another guy that's pointing out all of the so many wrongs of the United States of America. You know, saying that illegal, Im too many illegal, e yeah, ugh, saying that too many illegal immigrants are in this country. And they really shouldn't be here, you know, BS like that. And now they want to make things right. How many times have we heard of a situation like that here in the WWE? Very original, right? And, and the defending champion is Alberto Del Rio. All of a sudden turned good guy is going to take a stand for all of us. Hmm. Okay, I'm willing to give him a chance here, if you all are. I mean... Yeah, and yeah, I, I guess I'm all of a sudden a fan of uh, Alberto Del Rio. Because, uh, I'll tell you what, because the, the man is good. I'll tell you that. Alberto Del Rio is one good, is one good technical wrestler right here. 
Jack Swagger. He earned the shot at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship, and he deserved that shot. And this will be an epic matchup. Can't wait for it. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed enjoyed this match right here. It was Randy Orton, the Viper, the Apex Predator, going up against the unpopular United States Champion, Antonio Cesaro. Gee, I think I actually pronounced his name right. Hooray me. Yeah, this was a real good matchup. Uh, I enjoyed it because uh, I'm really not a fan of Antonio Cesaro. You know, the way that he's representing the United States Championship really disgusts me. And the only downside of this situation right here is that, you know, this is a non-title match. And you all know, you know, all the Jaguars and everyone else in the WWE Universe, I have been clamoring for someone to just take that U.S. belt away from Antonio Cesaro, but that hasn't happened yet. And in this matchup right here, I really wish that the United States Championship had been on the line. But, but however, you know, I know that that is not the belt that Randy Orton wants. And that's okay, you know. At least, you know, Antonio Cesaro was able to get his whooping here. I only wish that, you know, Randy Orton would have kicked, you know, Antonio Cesaro's head off. Now that would have been epic. <laughs> but anyways, you know, Randy Orton, you know, says that he's the best. And you know what? He must be the best because he just keeps on proving it. Because for quite some time now, you know, the Viper has been on a roll. Beating this guy, beating that guy. Yep, Randy Orton, he... he yeah, Randy Orton just might be the best. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Our truth was injured for a while, but now as you can see here, the man is making a strong epic comeback. In his matchup right here against Cody Rhodes, it was real high flying and intense, but guess what? The truth prevailed. That's right. Our truth defeated Cody Rhodes. And what was the icing on the cake? Our truth also put the beat down on Damien Sandow. What in the world was Sandow thinking? Running up in there like he's all something. That's okay. Because Sandow also got his beating. His righteous beating. Now that's epic, folks. Well, what a situation this was, wasn't it? You know, our supervising manager, hold on a second. Our managing supervisor, Vicky Guerrero. Yeah, I actually got that right. Boy. Yeah, she went ahead and signed this rather strange matchup. Really unfair, don't you think? It was Team Hell No versus the, the primetime players in a non title match. Kane's. Kane had one hand tied behind his back per order of. Miss Vicky Guerrero and Daniel Bryan had to be, well first I should say blindfolded, but he had a hood over his head so he could not see. Oh jeez. And yeah, and you all know that it was Vicky Guerrero who signed this match. Hot damn it. Ain't this a load of BS. But it doesn't matter because, check it out. 
the tag team champions prevailed. That's right. Team Hell No still won. And you know what I got to say? I'm really, really starting to like this team right here. I mean, this is an epic team. We got Daniel Bryan. We got the monster with issues, Kane. Two humble guys here, you know, great guys here. We got some damn good role models, you know, representing the tag team championships here. In fact, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this team right here is... So mother effing epic! What else needs to be said? Alright, let's talk about the shield. You know what? There is an awful lot that needs to be said about these guys. It's been quite some time now, you know. The shield has been running roughshod all over the WWE. Jumping and beating down this guy. Jumping and beating down that guy from behind, I might add. And, and I'll have to say that, you know, the shield... You know, these three members right here have literally ruined the career of Ryback. Because they have constantly, constantly cost Ryback the WWE Championship. Because Ryback was right there. I mean, you all saw it. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. Ryback was right there many times. He was about to become the WWE Champion. But then... These three guys right here, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins, they jump right back from behind and beat him down. Now, hold on a second now. Don't make me be the expert here, okay? Because I'm really not sure which is which. But I do know their names, though. And after a series of matches on pay-per-views and also what happened on the previous Monday Night Raw, these guys has been on a roll. I will say that. And you know what? These guys are good. That's right. These three men right here, they are real good. Because the in-ring performance of the Shield is very epic. Of course, but still, you know, we're not supposed to like them because of all of the chaos that they are causing. And I really don't like what they have done to Ryback. But they're good. I'll admit that. And last Monday night on Raw, they decided to hit the ring and started shooting their mouth off about how good they are. Okay. Usually I would have a problem with that, but not this time because they have been winning a whole lot. You know, all those six-man tags and all. But Sheamus was not about to, you know, take that. So he came out on a, on a rampway and challenged them to a fight. And that is when Randy Orton decided to make his move. That's right. Here comes the Viper. Comes up behind this shield member right here. And BAM! The Viper strikes and slithers out of the ring. So therefore Randy Orton and Sheamus got one up on the shield. You know, yeah, he did strike from behind, but you know what? How many times has the shield done that to other WWE superstars? That's right, just giving them a taste of their own medicine. So in a so in a, in an upcoming matchup here in the WWE, I'm predicting that it will be Randy Orton here teaming up with Sheamus and they will team up with Ryback. You know Ryback has gotta be a part of this. 
and they should take on the shield and that will be and that will be an epic one and that's right it will be an epic matchup and we'll find out just how good the shield really is okay now in my opinion right here uh, this match should not have happened because because if you saw what happened last Monday night on Raw, it's pretty obvious that The Miz was not 100%. And he, and he probably won't be 100% in a while. Because we all know The Miz was injured. But Vicky Guerrero didn't really care about that now, did she? Yeah, it was Jack Swagger versus an injured Miz. And I'll tell you, I saw this matchup online, and the Miz did fight valiantly. I mean, there was like a couple times that he came close to a pinfall, but but when it was all said and done, you know, the outcome it was inevitable because the Miz was just too injured, and Jack Swagger took advantage of it. So yeah, Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger won this matchup by defeating an injured Miz. Oh yeah, congrats. Here we go. Let's talk about the big main event of last Monday Night Raw in the Airline Center in Dallas. We all know the stipulation for this matchup right here, right? These two men agreed to it. CM Punk versus John Cena. Winner goes on to face The Rock, the WWE Champion at WrestleMania. If John Cena lost, then you know he will lose his opportunity at WrestleMania. If CM Punk lost, then he just has to shut up shut up his mouth about the whole thing pretty simple right but earlier in the night you know CM Punk came out to the ring using his pipe bomb running his mouth and saying that yeah he actually said it CM Punk is the god of the WWE universe raw raw okay so after CM Punk got done running his mouth, it was time for the match. So here it is. CM Punk, God of the WWE Universe. God of the WWE Universe? Oh boy. You kidding me on this? And here comes John Cena, the controversial hero. Very few like him, but very many don't. And I'm telling you right now. You see this match right here? This match was... So mother effing epic! That's right. I'm telling you, Jaguars. This was one epic matchup. It was a titanic, grueling struggle. These men, these two men right here really fought tooth and nail. You know, I'm surprised they were able to keep it into the ring. In fact, it even had them, you know, coming up with, with some moves that they've never done before. That's how badly that these two guys wanted this WWE title shot at WrestleMania. In fact, John Cena versus CM Punk lasted for exactly 32 minutes. That's right, and I watched it myself. I saw it. I'm telling you, these two guys right here really gave it their all. OMG, John Cena and CM Punk, they really put on a show, and they nearly tore the house down. Wait a minute, nearly? Huh, F that. I think they did tear the house down. Check it out. 
you know, they're really battling it right here. Just look at the strength of John Cena lifting up CM Punk. Yeah, there's John Cena trying some technical moves, but I will have to tell you, um, it was CM Punk that dominated a very huge percentage of this match. And in this matchup, in this match alone, you know, CM Punk did prove that he is the best in the world. And you know me, Jaguars, I always give credit where credit is due. CM Punk put on a hell of a performance. And so did John Cena. And there it is. CM Punk, he locked in the Anaconda device. But of course, John Cena did not tap out. He was able to escape this. CM Punk tried to do his go to sleep move, but John Cena was able to block it. And the strongest man alive was able to put on the SDFU submission hold on CM Punk. But CM Punk was able to escape this move. Because I will tell you, later on in the match, both of these guys did hit their finisher, okay? CM Punk, he did nail John Cena with the go-to-sleep move. But John Cena was able to, you know, kick out of that. And then C John Cena did nail CM Punk with the attitude adjustment. And CM Punk kicked out of that. It's like I told you, man, this match right here is so mother effing epic. And after a whole, and after what seemed like an eternity of battling back and forth and just nailing each other with blow after blow after blow. Something just happened. The fire just built it up in John Cena. And, you know, John Cena did the, did a Harakarana. That's right. The leader of the Sea Nation, John Cena, nailed CM Punk with a Harakarana. And, and then he nailed CM Punk with the attitude adjustment. And ending up winning the match, finally. Oh yeah, he is the winner, and he's going to Wrestlemania. Damn, this was one epic matchup. Damn. Yep, and here's the replay right here, you know, John Cena, you know, doing something that he's never done before, you know, digging real deep into himself, and the fire just burning within him, the motivation, the determination, the desire to win, that is what John Cena is all about. Don't adjust the set. What you're seeing is real. John Cena doing a Harakarana. Something new from the leader of the Sea Nation. And you know what? I know that there's a lot of people who watch wrestling, you know, WWE wrestling to be more specific. You know, you're not really fans of John Cena. And you know, you can say whatever you want. But after seeing this match right here, 
this momental victory right here. You know, you cannot deny the passion of John Cena. Because just like CM Punk, you know, John Cena, he really did give it his all. He put it all on the line. Everything that he fought for. Everything that he fought to earn. He put it all on the line to silence the critics. But you know what? People are still going to keep on talking. And that's okay. Because John Cena right here, he just proved a lot of people wrong. Including you. So, there it is. There it is, Jaguars. And that was definitely one of the most epic Monday Night Raws that I've ever seen. OMG, so much happening in so little time. That one episode right there really put the sport of wrestling on the map. Damn! I mean, that, that one match right there, that one main event, John Cena versus CM Punk. I watched that from beginning to end, and I still can't believe what I saw. Those, those two men right there really gave it their all, and then some. Pulling every effing trick out of the hat, even some that they hadn't known before. And you know, CM Punk, he really wanted that one. He really put it all on the line as well. His heart and his soul. And then there's also John Cena wanting to silence the critics. Proving all the doubters wrong. And, and after what just happened, we all know that John, John Cena does deserve to go to WrestleMania and battle The Rock for the WWE title. And you know The Rock was watching that matchup. Because last Monday night, Monday Night Raw, February 25th, that was really an epic one. And you all know this. And of course, well, I mean, what did you expect? There are very few people out there who can put on a show like the WWE. Way to go, people. Peace out, till the next episode. Oh, oh 